Space Development Agency, Tranche 1 Tracking Layer Missile Warning Program, to launch new satellites to track, detect and eliminate hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic Missile Defense Hypersonic missiles travel so quickly along the boundary of the Earth's atmosphere that it is nearly impossible to track continuously as they travel from one radar to another and ground missile launcher. Missile defense technology has made staggering steps forward in recent years, and is now poised for additional breakthroughs, yet an even newer paradigm is needed to counter an emerging new generation of threats such as hypersonic weapons, high-speed multiple re-entry vehicles and advanced countermeasures flying warheads. Recognizing this, the Pentagon is moving quickly to launch new constellations of high-tech, networked satellites for the specific purpose of establishing that continuous track and strengthening the layers of missile defense using changing space technology. Enable beyond line-of-sight targeting and get data for targets anywhere in the world. With new hypersonic glide vehicles, we need to detect them, track them and calculate a targeting solution to send down to an interceptor. Accomplishing this requires non-line-of-sight targeting and connectivity, high-speed data sharing, air-enabled information processing and transmission and, perhaps most of all, the addition of new constellations of low- and medium-Earth orbit satellites to complement traditional geosynchronous higher-altitude satellites. Essentially, hundreds of new satellites need to go up to help blanket otherwise unreachable target areas and exchange threat track data quickly enough and accurately enough to ensure a targeting trajectory is not lost as a high-speed weapon transits from one field of regard to another. This is why the Space Development Agency is accelerating its plan to launch 28 new satellites by 2025 through its $1.3 billion Tranche 1 tracking layer missile warning program. Contracts were just awarded to Northrop Grumman and L3. Space Development Agency Director Derek Tournier explained that the multi-pronged launch initiative, which will break up 28 satellites into four different launches with seven satellites on each, is grounded upon two key conceptual pillars. The tracking satellites will then pass that data to the transport layer satellites, which in hundreds of milliseconds will pass the information to a ground station, where they will fuse all of those from multiples of these tracking satellites, together. And that means that now it can form a three-dimensional track which is important because that could actually be used, to send to an interceptor to be able to take out that hypersonic maneuvering vehicle. Thus that information can be sent down directly into theater so that individuals can know whether they need to take cover or whether they can engage other radar or weapon systems to intercept the hypersonic vehicle. These are proliferation and spiral development, Turnier told reporters at the Pentagon, specifying that there is literally a need for hundreds and hundreds of satellites to operate in space while continuously gaining new capability every two years, through ongoing spiraled development. The point with a massive increase in satellites is to not only build in redundancy and resiliency, but also to use breakthrough throughput speeds to cover more of the Earth in real time, while networking large numbers of lower altitude satellites to one another. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.